It's not, a, <clears throat> it's not an easy question. Because even as you are sitting here, some voters are dying. I mean, it's a continuous process, if you, if you think about it. It's, uh, whether there are 70,000 dying in Nairobi or 1.2 million or you know, whatever number, I don't think that should be the main issue. The main issue is, how does a dead voter vote? I think that should be the question. How, does it, how is it that the person who is dead, whether they died this morning or a month ago, how do they vote? The numbers given by KPMG. I, I don't think that is the helpful part. I think the issue that IEBC should be asking itself is, how is it that somebody who, 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 did, not, who did not turn up at the voting centre, for instance, because the same issue really. Yes. How is it that the person who didn't turn up at the voting centre is said to have voted? Because if you assume 70 percent turnout or 90 percent turnout, whatever number, if the polling officers or whoever wants to manipulate the, the voting can manipulate the voting by having people who didn't turn up appear to have voted, isn't it? Yes. That is why you find in some stations you find 110 percent voter turnout. And you know this is not possible. Yeah. So dead voter is in my view, um, one way of escape for whoever is responsible for, for, for these issues, because a dead voter shouldn't vote. He should not be anywhere near the polling station, because he cannot be. <laughs> he, can't, he can't be anywhere near the polling station. <laughs> so the issue is, how is it that IEBC, or whoever is responsible, allows a, mani a manipulation of the register, so the person who is not in the register, who did not come to vote, appears to have voted? That, in my view, should be the main question. Whether they clean up the register, whether they get a million dead voters in the register, it's, mm -hmm. it, it, it's in my view, unless they do what uh, Honorable Kiputa Rapkirwa is saying, have a system that deletes automatically one, once you die, yes. uh, unless they do that, this uh, 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 exercise of uh, auditing and getting 1.2 million voters are dead in the registers, in my view, is, is just another waste of public funds. They should, they should be working on a system, you know, foolproof system that doesn't allow anybody who is not registered, whether they are dead or not, or anybody who is registered but did not turn up at the polling station, should not appear to have voted. That the checks and balances, in my view, are what matter, not, not whether or not they are dead people in the register.